start making a relation between how you feel and what you do. Mm-hmm. Your brain is going to do the hey, rest. Yeah. What's up? Hey, mom. What's up? Hey, mom. What's up? Hey, mom. What's up? Hey, mom. What's up? Welcome hey, to Moms Actually. I'm Blair. And I'm Morgan. And this is our special guest, Yay. our favorite guest hey, of the day, Masi yeah. Arias. Thank you, guys. Thank How you for you? having me. Did I get it right? Yes. Masi. The closest um, you can get without a like accent. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. She's like, I didn't. I didn't have to do the accent, but I, I did like, it right. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Masi. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself for the you know one and a half people that may not know you? Like, brag on yourself mm. a little bit. Mm-hmm. I don't brag. Okay. You know, okay. I try to level mm-hmm. with okay. absolutely everyone, and I believe, like, this is what I do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I I am a health and fitness coach. Mm-hmm. I work mostly with females, mm-hmm. a lot of moms, mm-hmm. and I help women change their lifestyles oh. through behavioral change, mm-hmm. oh. through a better understanding and perception on their relationship with exercise and nutrition and mental health. Mm. Very clear. I wow. like that. That's I like it. that. I'm, I'm like, like, I, I need to figure change out my, my life. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I immediately like, hey, I'm like how do I sign up? up? <laughs> <laughs> I literally I just got really in, intrigued. Yes. Well, you can tell this is going to be an interesting conversation. (laughs) I am ready for it. But before we start, make sure you subscribe. Take Mm -hmm. a moment. Pause. Subscribe. Yes. Thank you. you. (laughs) Okay. And now we're going to get started. So you were interested in the paddles. Yes. So I'm going to actually tell you what these paddles are. If you guys are new here, you get to, you know, know what this is too. But all my OGs, y'all know this is It's Giving motherhood and this is when we just do a rapid fire so i'm gonna ask a question blair and i the first answer is the right answer okay yep. so right. first question if what when i ask the question yes is gold or the first choice and white is no or the second choice this is like pickleball no oh, okay. she's right. like we're about to do a sport <laughs> nope we're just gonna here here and we're, okay you know, so yes yes or the first choice mm-hmm. and then no or the second choice mm-hmm. Okay, let's go. All right, was your pregnancy planned or was it a surprise? My first one was surprise. a surprise. My All second my one was surprises. like fake planned. Okay. Oh, but, right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Mine wasn't planned. It no wasn't planned. planned. It was a You're surprise. Like, surprise. The best surprises, though, right? The best surprise. Yes. I will say the very, very first time I got pregnant, the one that happened mm-hmm. with the miscarriage, I was not, it was not a good surprise. I you didn't want like, to be pregnant. I, I just got married. I just wanted to be married. I was so sad. Yeah. And then I got pregnant um, again after that, but I think it was because of the hormones made me feel like it's your body time. needs to be pregnant. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so you actually tried to get pregnant. The second time, I did not try. And you were like, I'm Kofi, not going to stop it. Yeah. And then with gotcha. Kofi, I was like, I'm getting to the geriatric pregnancy age, so if uh, this is going to happen, it's going to happen. And gotcha. if it's not, it's so not. So you're like, I'm not going to stop it. Exactly. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Mine was not. Oh, you. No, you, go ahead. You. Okay, no, mine wasn't planned. <laughs> yeah. But I welcomed it. Yeah. And I'm glad. What was yes. your face when you found out? I don't really remember. <laughs> I thought it was that. I was, it was like <laughs> very blank. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, I was happy. Yeah. You know, it was, was a blessing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, I always, I maybe manifested it. Okay. Because I said I was going to be pregnant by 28. Oh. And it happened at 28. Crazy. So you planned it. Yeah. <laughs> in my in mind. In a weird way I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In my mind. Yeah. But I guess uh-huh. it does happen. Well, I already said I didn't. I, I mean. Surprise, surprise, Figured you surprise. didn't plan at least the first one. Definitely not the first one. <laughs> but she she's, was 19 when she yes, got pregnant the first time. And how was that? It was crazy, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> that crazy was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> but no, uh, it was a surprise, especially with all of my health things that I've had going on. So I truly did not think I could get pregnant. But yeah, I, I, I did it. <laughs> Three times? Three times. But isn't it better to get... Get it out when you're young. Yeah, that I way mean, you can just experience that. I will say that. I'm very glad that I'm like three and done now because I'm 32 and everybody's like, you're done? Yep. yep. 
I'm good. And I can still, now I can really focus on my 30s and mm. then focus on them, you know? No. And not raising a brand new newborn. That was my plan in my head. In your head. I, I planned it. Okay, at this time, I'll go to school. I'll do this. And by this time, I'm ready to have a child. Yeah. And yeah, it just <laughs> didn't happen. Not the way you thought it would, but mm. it's happening. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Um, have you ever struggled with your body image after having a child? Yes. After my second. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What was your struggle? After having a child? Mm -hmm. um, my struggle was the opposite. The perception mm -hmm. of being... Let me backtrack. Okay. I had a six-pack. Oh, when I was know. six months yes. pregnant. Yes. Okay, so my we like, were, we were pregnancy there. <laughs> was really controversial. Mm -hmm. okay. But I was healthy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was just at the fittest mm -hmm. ever yeah. in mm -hmm. my core. I carry a lot of muscle in my core. Mm -hmm. So it was just like a corset, yeah. right? Yes. So after having my child, nine days in, I had a four-pack, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And I received a lot of backlash. Wow. And it was horrible. Society is so cruel. And I win. felt Can't that win. I had the need to explain myself, mm -hmm. and it was just, yeah. Man. But oh gosh, I'm sorry I have a four-pack and not a six-pack. Right. Yeah. Like or not just a want to be mad. Well, yeah. yeah. I have a four pack and not a fupa. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I put on most of my weight breastfeeding. Okay. okay. And most people didn't see that. Okay. I okay. went up all the way to like 180. Yeah. Wow. And I'm a pretty petite. Yes, yes. I'm tall, but I'm pretty petite. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it was the opposite. Mm -hmm. Like I never cared. All I wanted, I wanted so bad to breastfeed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had in my mind that I was going to breastfeed up until like I was two years old. I was mm -hmm. going to be that mom yeah. popping yes. the boob. <laughs> and it happened for me. Oh, okay. Because young, when I was younger, mm -hmm. I had a breast augmentation and mm -hmm. I was lied to. Oh. My breasts were put over the muscle. And oh. I've been delaying this procedure for a very long time. I have to do another procedure, yeah. and mm -hmm. it's, it's been years. How they just it's, lie to it's you? It's over because 10 that's years. that's a whole big deal. Wow. Yeah. Mine, I have them, mine are under the muscle, and that was actually my mm -hmm. body image issue. Yeah. They mm -hmm. kept getting bigger. Yeah. Uh, really but nice. they lied to me because it was in Caribbean. And I was oh. young. I was so young. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. And I couldn't breastfeed. So it was like the opposite for me. And everything that's that I wanted to do, I just couldn't do. And... Um, I'm someone that I, I don't like drama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I stay away from drama mm -hmm. and I just wanted to connect and yeah. connect yeah. in a way that was judgment free. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even though I got, you know, maybe people's projections and their insecurities. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I have a really positive tribe. Yeah. yeah. But mm -hmm. I was exposed to everyone yes. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So I had the positives, I also had the negatives. Yeah. But you know, you Did live you and you learn. No, you just, I don't need to block anyone. You just delete, because eventually, just... eventually, people are just going to have their opinions. Yeah. yeah. You know the way you mm -hmm. react, the mm -hmm. way that you carry yourself. It's like you're not going to. At least I don't try to mm -hmm. respond in an unkind way. Yeah. It's usually the opposite, and then that person is going to be like, "Whoa." Yeah. yeah. Her I wasn't people, expecting her people, that. So mm -hmm. it's I like, have a let really me treat positive. Them. Yeah. Tribe. They, so and that's what they you, mean. You do respond. You just don't respond. Nice. Just, just kindly. Okay, just kindly. Nice. Because at the end of the day, you don't know what that person has been taught. Yeah. You don't know their emotional yeah. state. You don't know their lives. Mm -hmm. So, of course, they're just going to be open. Yeah. So, the way that you respond is the way that you teach. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, that's maybe you just turn them, turn them around yeah. and now they're just a fan. Yes. You know? that's and true. they're just, not even a fan. They're just, now you can relate. Yeah. Now yeah. you can yeah. talk and say like, are you okay? Yeah. What's going and, on? And then they yeah. have nothing you know? to come back with either. Because right. you know me, I like to throw people for a loop that yes. way too. And they don't have anything to say after that because they're hard. ready to mm -hmm. yeah. go back. Yeah, and it's go like, back oh, and forth. maybe I need to heal. When you approach things with love, with honesty, mm -hmm. with kindness, usually that is what you get back. Oh, yeah. I am that person. I am very positive. <laughs> so. Yes, we've, we've, I've gathered that. Mm -hmm. um, is motherhood different than you expected? <laughs> I would say here. Yes. I think it's because I don't know what I expected. Like, I read the book, What to Expect When You're Expecting. Oh, you did? Yeah, my mom got it for me. I mean, I was 19, so yeah. she's like, here, read this book, yeah. you know? 
Um, and you do all the things, but to the point of why we even started this, those books and stuff like that talk about the baby. Yeah. They talk about what your body is doing and what the baby is doing inside your body and, you know, how to feed the baby, how to clothe mm-hmm. them. Everything is focused around the That's baby. True. So I didn't know what to expect motherhood-wise other than, like, of course, seeing what my mom and aunts and mm-hmm. grandma did, but I still was like, okay, maybe I'll repeat some of these things. Maybe I won't, but there was no true idea yeah. of what I had in my mind, other than maybe TV, but still, again, yeah, TV. that's TV. Yeah. What about you? Nobody gives you a handbook to be right. a mom. Yeah. Yep. And everything, I had to eat my words <laughs> because I used to see the way, you know, parenthood was, I would mm-hmm. never do that. Yeah. I yeah. would never do oh, this. Yes. I would never yeah. do that. And then caught myself doing that. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> right? Uh-huh. So yep. once I became a mom, it's like a hood. Yes, you know, is. like mm-hmm. all the children are my children, yeah, and I'm here for it, yep. and it's it's a hood. So yeah. I understand how hard it is, mm-hmm. how it's very individual to yeah. every mm-hmm. single human or parent. How we are going to be different, yep. and not judge. Yep. Yes, and That's yeah, important. it's completely different than I imagined. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same. I didn't really have a lot of examples. I didn't grow up seeing anybody but my mom and like I love you mom but she you know she raised me like she had like a a parenting book and was like checking everything off so Mm -hmm. I was just like I I don't know but we're gonna figure it out and of course there's the things like no I swear I was like no screen time and I'm like them iPads TV save my life in moments that I need them you know it's just you just realize everybody's trying to make it make it everybody's just trying to make it and we're all figuring it out and it's like it's what we talked about before. Some people try to give you insight. And mm-hmm. in, especially when you're pregnant, sometimes you're like, I got this. I'm, you know, going to figure it out. I don't need the unsolicited advice. Yeah. And then you have the kid and it's like, no one told no me. No one told me. Mm-hmm. But it's, you can't you can't really win until you have the child sometimes. Yeah. You figure it out on your feet. Mm-hmm. You do your best. <laughs> You do your best. You do your best. <laughs> Figure out the rest. And sometimes it's, you know. Still not the best. Sometimes it's still not the best, but you get another day. Yep. Okay, next question. Are you surprised at the things you do now as a mom Oh, versus the things you said you wouldn't do? Like no excessive sugar, wow. juice, iPads, like specific things. Hmm. Well, clearly mine's a yes because I said there was going to be no screen time. Yeah. And now my iPad stay charged. Okay, kind of. Yeah, I'll go here. Okay, what did you stick to and what did you like give in to? Um, I stick to health. Okay. Um, yes. So, but it was, it's hard to control. Yes. So it's hard to control because my daughter has two different homes okay. mm-hmm. and she is influenced by cousins or mm-hmm. like she's the only child. Mm-hmm. So as soon as she saw my niece mm-hmm. be picky about, oh, oh, I don't like this, that, and the third. Uh, I yeah. can have a oh, like, yeah. I can do that. Oh. Or when she got invited to her first birthday party. Yeah. And there's like a oh, cake, yeah. and you're just like, oh, okay. <laughs> like she's been she's been keeping all yeah. this from me. So I went through the whole phase of like sugar and candy mm-hmm. and whatnot, mm-hmm. but now that she's becoming older, the education. I spent yes. a lot of time talking okay. talking to her like she's an adult. Yes. Mm-hmm. If she was here, it's she's wise beyond her years. Mm-hmm. It's like she's a ten year old yes. or an eleven year old or mm-hmm. a teenager, yes. right? Mm-hmm. And as much as I spend on educating her, mm-hmm. giving her examples and whatnot, and I live that life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she's gonna emulate this. Of like course, we, yeah. it's not that she doesn't have cakes or we may go and have pro yo, right. mm-hmm. but it's it's not the norm. Yes. Yeah. At home, it's fruits. Yes. And it's gotten to a point like now, maybe the six months, um, six months and on, mm-hmm. she doesn't even ask for any candy. She's, it's just like fruit. Yeah. She goes to school with her fruit. Yeah. Whether or not she has candy with her dad or whatnot, mm-hmm. that's on her. Yes. But with me, she knows. we can control she knows. this. Screen <laughs> time, though, mm-hmm. she'll have certain, like, screen time. Yeah. We mm-hmm. watch movies mm-hmm. or it'll be educational or it'll be just for fun yeah. because as an adult, how will you grow up? Yes. Yeah. You need something mind-numbing. Yes. You know, for you to just like Sometimes relax. you need it, yeah. yeah. I like that mind-numbing. Yeah, yeah. That. like we like do it that. all the time, whether it's like binging on TV like or yeah. doing something different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that makes so sense. So I find myself, you know, yeah, going yeah, back and yeah. forth. 
I'm not perfect. No one yes. is. Right. Yeah. Now, I try to be more strict about like food and sweets and stuff like that. But then I realized the more it made sense of how I became because my parents were strict about that kind of stuff. But I actually opened them up to it because I realized if you deny them like purposely, mm -hmm. then it's like they want it even more. So I think it's good she had the options because then she got to choose what she yeah. wanted to do. Because now my kids, especially my son, like he doesn't want cakes or candies. Like my mm -hmm. daughter does sometimes, but it's out there in the open mm -hmm. and they don't choose it So it doesn't feel like all I can't have my yes. dad. I love that. Okay, last one. Can you honestly say you have mastered keeping strong batteries for the sake of your own sanity? I was gonna say, I feel like you're gonna say yes, you have a whole, that's your lifestyle. Yeah. I would say yes, look at her face, she's saying. She's like, absolutely. Boundaries with, whether it's friends, family, coworkers, like mm -hmm. I respect my boundaries. Mm -hmm. And some people may see you as like, oh no. Mm -hmm. Like, people know. Yeah. My friends and my family know. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. You have to have the courage of being disliked. Oh, and yeah. that's actually Ooh. a book. That's good. That I recommend if you guys have really want to understand yourselves, mm -hmm. having the courage of being disliked. I love that. You know, but respecting yourself and your boundaries and what's important to you is going to make you a, a happy person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have boundaries, like after a certain time, that phone, I don't touch it. Mm -hmm. Whether that email gets sent now or gets sent tomorrow at nine, mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. Right. Yep. So why am I going to obsess, yeah. right? Yep. Or if I, let's say, boundaries with my family, like I'm sorry, but mm -hmm. this is something important to me yep. yeah. and I cannot do X, Y, and C. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, people are gonna get upset in the beginning, yeah. Yeah. but then they're gonna come around yeah. because yeah. they love you. Yeah. yeah. And that's important to you. So I don't mess with my boundaries. Boundaries yeah. need to be created. And if you're consistent with them, the issue yeah. is if you're not consistent with them, because yes. people can only continually do what you allow. So right. if one day you have the boundary and the one day you don't, you yeah. can't be mad at anybody can't be, but yourself. Yeah. Your and kids will teach you that. Yes. Right. I think that's why I said I haven't mastered it. I'm very good at my boundaries, but then I have moments where I'm like, well, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, like you said, oh, you know, sending the email at nine versus right mm -hmm. now. Like, sometimes I'm like, well, I could just do it really quick. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, and mm -hmm. I know that I'm not supposed to mm -hmm. because I've set that boundary, mm -hmm. but I'll bend it a little bit. Yeah. So mastered, I take, I'm taking that pretty literal and I would say no. My important boundaries, I... I keep, like, yeah. the kids not in my... Like, stuff like that. Yes, I'm those, very, yes. Yeah, my closed doors, but there are some that are flexible because they're like nice to have, but the ones I have, I don't play about them. Like <laughs> yeah, ever, because of my to. sanity. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, Mossy, mm -hmm. question. Because you opened up and you were talking about what you do, and you said something very intriguing, intriguing to the both of us mm -hmm. because we're like, ooh, let's sign up. Um, everyone knows you as a fitness um, guru, like instructor, um, but I don't know that a lot of people know you for truly helping women change their lifestyle, whether it be behavioral, um, you said health, and then just mentally as well. Could you talk to us more about that? Or mm -hmm. are there other things that you're like, okay, yeah, I do all of that, but these are some of the things that no one even understands that I do that I would love to discuss. Yeah, so for the past, 10, 11 years, mm -hmm. I've been building a community. Mm -hmm. And the goal is that people can fly on their own at some point. Mm -hmm. That you're not hooking them to a point where they don't have the tools, mm -hmm. right? Yes. You want to be able to provide a service that if you're coming back, it's because you want something new. Um. It's because, you know, something maybe happened in your life and you need a refresher. Yeah. Yeah. But not because I'm only giving you enough for you to keep coming back. So you're not a drug dealer. I love no, that. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Like, I am here because this mentality is how I've grown. Okay. Yes. One person is going to tell the next person, is going to tell the next person, is going to tell the next person. So yes. I can actually so heal there's, you. Exactly. Yes. And the truth will set people free. Come mm. on. And it doesn't matter. Like, let's say, I always say, I am not that person that is going to tell you what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. I am that person that is going to work with facts and tell you what you need to hear because mm -hmm. everybody knows what comes easy goes easy. Oh yeah. yeah. Life 
it's not rainbows and roses. Mm -mm. You're going to have to build mental grit, yes. resilience. Things are going to be hard. Mm -hmm. This is how you get to the next level. And you yeah. mentioned guru. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in gurus, by mm -hmm. the way. <laughs> Okay. If the moment you stop growing, <laughs> yeah. the moment you believe that you know absolutely everything about yeah, everything is the moment true. that you stop growing that's and you stop true. learning and you that. become ignorant. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't believe in that. I believe, right. yeah. you know, every area or industry, you have to keep learning. Mm -hmm. yes, Even if true. you take it from a scientific perspective, mm -hmm. like, it's proven, like, we really don't know anything about anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, today we say, okay, this is, and then it continues. This mm -hmm. is the truth. Mm -hmm. But then a year or two years from now, you're like, oh, well, the research finds that yeah. this was a lie. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> literally. I, yeah. I've become agnostic to a mm -hmm. lot of things. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I say this about a lot of things. So the goal is... Can we continue to learn and evolve with the information and the research that's being provided on a regular basis? Mm -hmm. Whether you're a doctor, personal trainer, a beauty guru, uh, not guru, <laughs> beauty expert, yes. right? <laughs> and or enthusiast. Yeah. And you have to continue to learn. Mm -hmm. So I've built a community in, in which if the general population understands that I believe Losing weight, mm -hmm. keeping the weight off, bur burning fat, gaining mm -hmm. muscle is not hard. Okay. Once mm -hmm. you have the tools. Okay. And once you are taught a sustainable path to reach that goal. And it goes farther than just, this is what you eat, this is how you train. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to become, uh, make it a lifestyle. Yeah. Here, mm -hmm. it smells delicious. Yeah. The chef, oof, amazing. <laughs> but I control what I eat. And you're mentally strong. Right? People do not understand in the general population that in order for you to look a certain way, you have to keep consistent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So personally, even if I'm going to be three, four hours outside of my environment, mm -hmm. I've already eaten. Yeah. I really don't, you know, feel mm -hmm. like... Wow. Eating outside, or I just yeah. control that environment. That makes sense. Whether and that's what I teach yes, people. I'm like, like hey. <laughs> yeah. I'm the over here way like, she literally just licked her <laughs> Can I just say this? The, and, and the more you know, the sadder it gets. Yes. Oh, because I look at ingredients. Mm -hmm. yeah. I look at um, where food is being outsourced, mm -hmm. and it, it can become. Obviously, I'm not gonna obsess. Yeah. Over it, but. I'm here. I'm in yeah. LA. Like, I'm yeah. 15 minutes away. Like, I just yeah. ate and I mm -hmm. just came here and I'm good. I had yeah. some nuts. I had some water. I had some coffee yeah. and I'm good. Right? So, I think when people are giving the tools and this is where a community yeah. gets, this is what I'm trying to build. Yeah. I People on social media, that's my tribe. Yeah. Mi tribu. Right? Mm -hmm. And I, here, once I came to America, I understood that the culture is very individualistic. Yeah. You do, I, I'm going to do for me. It's yeah. In, yeah. Instead of thinking as a whole. Yeah. So within this community, we have sisterhood, mm -hmm. yes. right? We have yes. camaraderie. Mm -hmm. We have everything that you can think of. People can relate. It's like what you guys are doing. Right. Yeah. It's, it's a mommyhood. Mm -hmm. yes. And that's where we bring how to help you understand and have a better relationship with food, mm -hmm. your workouts as a whole, the community part, the mental part, mm -hmm. getting you ready for what's to come, whether it's a holiday, whether it's family, whether yeah. it's your, your support system, mm -hmm. it's as a whole. Okay. If you, obviously, you can give someone a diet plan, you can give them mm -hmm. um, a great workout routine, and they can do it for a little bit and then fall off, and that's when you gain it all back mm -hmm. or yes. because you haven't been given the tools to make that lifestyle change in that transition. Yeah. And especially as, you know, I get really serious with this. Oh, no. African Americans and Latinos, mm -hmm. we yes. have to change our culture. I'm yeah. sorry, but we are dying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're making literally a lot of money mm -hmm. yeah. out of our sickness that yes. becomes its lifestyle and how we live. And I'm not Eesh. saying like you're just going to go out and maybe, you know, uh, you have to find moderation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I eat all the foods that you can imagine, but I make them healthy. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. the way that I feel and how I want to live, I want to. I don't want to be in pain. 
Yeah. I, I'm I'm 35 this year, mm-hmm. and I'm moving better than in my 20s. Yes. Wow. Period. I love that. I love it just that. makes me realize how mentally weak. Like, because I was literally I in the gym the other day, like about to cry because I'm like, I got to do this for the rest yeah. of my life if yeah. I want to look good and yeah. feel good. Start thinking mm-hmm. like if you go to the gym, and I say this all the time, mm-hmm. focus on performance, mm-hmm. yes. getting stronger, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Getting stronger, getting faster, getting better, mm-hmm. right? Start thinking about the physiological changes in the brain chemistry in what happens. Mm -hmm. You never, obviously, if you're operating from a standpoint like, I got to make this bigger, I I have to make this smaller, the body is going to come. Think about this, weight loss wise, Mm -hmm. you're doing more, what's going to happen? You're burning more calories. Mm -hmm. You're getting stronger, what's going to happen? You are going to put on more muscle. You're eating healthier, it doesn't matter even, oh, cut this or cut yeah. Start eating healthy. You're yeah. creating the deficit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And start making a relation between how you feel and what you do. Mm. Your brain is going to do the rest. Yeah. Wow. I'm like, <laughs> this is a great time for this, though, because we're, yeah. um, you know, this is right after the new year, mm-hmm. right after the holidays, when everybody is literally, they're on that wagon of, we're going to go to the gym and I've got my new goals and all of these things. So I'm so glad that you are even here talking to our audience mm-hmm. about this, because I think with moms, especially, we have not only the just the internal narrative of, OK, I got to go to the gym, but it's the I have to go to the gym to lose this mommy weight. Mm-hmm. So like what you know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like. What I'm hearing you say is we need to change all of that. It's your perception that you have to change. Like, how many resolutions have you made? Oof. Every single year is the same resolution. Yeah, we're going to do this. Baby, now, the gym start. Pack, <laughs> and then February, it's 17. Ooh. <laughs> That's <important>. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you never told a lie, Blair. She you never, never told, told a lie. lie. I mean, it's packed, I'm, you know, and then you fall off. And like, you can be in denial. So. Yeah. You have to, okay, so let's say here we're laughing, yes. even though it's like kind of sad, <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm laughing because I've seen every single thing that you can think of, I've mm-hmm. seen it. Yeah. So what I do and say, it's instead of you thinking that you're just going to make a new resolution, start thinking about what has stopped you from actually making that happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you start taking account and being present, mm-hmm. Be present with yourself. Stop being distracted. Mm -hmm. Stop being distracted by the 10, 15 social media stars or reality TV stars that you can think of because they're doing this or the media or this. Shut the noise. Mm -hmm. This is your life. You don't have a stylist. You don't have X amount of money. Things are not given for uh, for you for free. Um, You may not have three nannies taking care of your children. This is real life, okay? And you really need to understand. Let me just sit on the couch. It's true. It's true. Because (laughs) I like to stay real. I love it. You have a beautiful life. Yes. Literally, you have a beautiful life with your beautiful children. Yes. Think about your support systems, the right and dies. Mm -hmm. Like, there's so many people that don't realize. There's so many moms that don't realize they have everything to be happy. Yeah. Happiness is not a dopamine rush because you got a new bag yeah. or this house or this or that. It's a state of mind yes. and what you think you become. Yeah. So oh, start 100%. making a list of the things that truly stop you from making those changes. These are your boundaries. Ah. Way to bring it you full period. circle. You just taught me. I you guess just, that's how you figure out the boundaries. These are your boundaries. Right. Because you will have a support system that's not ready for your changes, for the new you. They yeah. want to stay back there. Yeah. You're ready for a new chapter. So now you have people, let's say, projecting on you. Yeah. Yes, a little bit. Like, this is, but why? Yeah. You know, or recently I went on a date mm-hmm. and there's a reason why I don't drink. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Drinking doesn't make me feel good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mentally doesn't make me feel good. Mm-hmm. I feel horrible. It takes me time to recover and I start thinking negatively mm-hmm. about myself. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. So I this is the second date. We go out and with the with the drinking. Mm-hmm. Hey, don't make me feel like oh, don't right. make me feel like this. Oh. I said, 
I, I personally don't drink, you yeah. know, and I could have one drink. Yeah. But if you need me to drink, right. but yeah. you know, if it's one drink, cool. Yeah. It's like a glass of wine. I can yeah. I can drag it yeah. for like mm -hmm. two you know. three hours. Yeah. Great. <laughs> but I know how I feel when I drink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't like it. And then who's just going to drink just one drink? Mm -hmm. You know you're yeah, going to go for a no. second. Second one. And then the third. Mm -hmm. And here mm -hmm. you go. You're down, Bam. you know, <laughs> having the greasy food and having this. And you're just like, yeah. oh. Yeah. Right. You know, so I just don't like the way I feel. Mm -hmm. So these are boundaries. Yeah. If we're going to make it to this third date, can I just be myself? Yeah. Yes. And if you need someone else to, you know, feel okay drinking, then exactly. you need to work that out. Yeah. But I'm okay with you drinking. Yeah, yeah that's I'm good. Like, I'm I good. drink. I have a I'm blast like, have without one. drinking. Me so too. this is mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Boundaries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know you need to get from point A to point B. So it's, stop being in denial. It's mm -hmm. going to be hard to make those changes. Make them sustainable. Mm -hmm. This is a question. Okay. Yes. For everyone. Ooh. Would you rather go through the growing pains and be at point B? Oh, or would you rather just stay there in pain, Oof. feeling bad about yourself, constantly <sighs> complaining out loud with yourself about the things that you have to change? Something has to change, and that is you, Oof. how you think about things. And you have to get on the other side. It's going to be hard, but that is the process. You're there learning, and that's how you build mental grit. Every single day that you do something that you didn't want to do, you get stronger, 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 until you get to a point where you have defined who you are, where mm -hmm. you want to be, and you stop complaining. So what's your program called and how do yeah. I find it? Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, let's plug that real quick because no, I need truly. to go back and actually the, do it. Yeah, yeah it's... So I have different programs, okay. you know, from a very beginning for my beginners all the way down to like expert levels. What's the beginner levels. one? Because I'm beginner. <laughs> MA Elevate. Okay. And now things, we have combined everything. So a mm -hmm. lot of people think that I am an ambassador for the brands that I mm -hmm. promote. There are mine. That. No, yeah. I'm like, it's yeah, yours. They're mine. Yeah, yeah, like your protein and But stuff like I that, don't right? push it too much mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. what I push is health and wellness. Right. Mm -hmm. If you are going to come back into my companies, mm -hmm. it's because, okay, maybe you have learned, but mm -hmm. I, I believe in, in continuing to provide people with the tools, mm -hmm. right? And then if we funnel you and you want to learn more, then you can come. Right. Mm -hmm. So True Supplements, uh, we started that about eight, mm -hmm. eight years ago, and it's BS free. Yeah. Yes. It's BS free. Yeah. Yep. If you're a mom, if you're breastfeeding, yep. if, if you are pregnant, mm -hmm. you can take most of our products. Mm -hmm. And it is a, making it easier to either transition into a better lifestyle, maintain the lifestyle that you have, and or just make you a better performer in the gym or out of the gym. And then it coincides with the training, mm -hmm. any sort of training. Because right. at 35, if you're 40, if you're, we'll see where I'll be 10 years from now. <laughs> but I will be moving without pain. She's got yeah. a game. I'm She's a my no. knees, yeah. I was, my knees are great. Yeah. My back yeah. doesn't hurt. She's and that's what you want. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> She's working out. She's yeah. working on her fitness. She yeah, is. No, she, she, is. Is. She, she is. She looks She looks Come on. Yes. yes. Okay, Meg. Yeah. So have I you always it. been this mentally strong? Because yeah. I knew how you started in fitness, but was your mindset at the same point? Oh, no. Oh, who this was, was built. Who were you 10 years ago mentally? I guess body dysmorphia, mm -hmm. depression got me here. Okay. It's how I started fitness. Mm -hmm. I was so I was raised by very orthodox Christian. Oh wow. I come from a very orthodox Christian home, especially after my brother. I believe he's a miracle. And my family completely transformed. So I was sheltered. Mm -hmm. Coming here to America, I thought everyone was going to be nice. Oh. Uh. People had the Lord. Yeah. In them, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm a I'm a church girl. Mm -hmm. Did you right? come straight to LA or no? I was in New York. Thank oh, God. you went to yeah. You, they Thank definitely were nice God. in New York, though. Yeah. Sorry, New York. But <laughs> you know, I had a lot to learn. Yeah. I had to learn the language, learn the culture, learn how things are done. I was yeah. bullied. Yeah. Men, if the analogy of the diamond, mm -hmm. how was the diamond yes. through yep. pressure? Yes, it was pressure. So I encourage women. You are not a damsel in distress. Yeah. You are the most, I mean, women are the most 
reliable, multitasker, strong yes. human. So if you have forgotten how strong you are as a female, you need to remind yourself yeah. yes. because you can take it. And yes. I'm also speaking for men. We're resilient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are resilient. We're going to rise above. This is what mm -hmm. we do every single day. Mm -hmm. We rise above. Yeah. So no, I wasn't like this. And yeah. I was, I'm the only girl mm -hmm. of five boys. I have oh. two stepsisters, but I, I mm, they, mm. <laughs> they just, they did something. <laughs> You know, in yes, life, so did something. Yeah. Relationships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it was the best thing. Emancipated when I was 17. Okay. I strong-minded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I started rebelling. This is why I have the tattoos. <laughs> okay. Because I, I'm artistic and okay. whatnot. And I emancipated at 17. My dad wanted me back home. And I mm -hmm. said to him, after you take me out of my space, mm -hmm. you think that I'm going to go back home? Absolutely not. Oh. And man, in my life was rough. Not because my parents were not there, because I chose this yeah. life. Yeah. And it was the best thing that I mm -hmm. ever did. Wow. Yeah. It was rough, but it was the best thing because it taught me everything mm -hmm. that I know right now. Mm -hmm. wow. And I think that for Indy, mm -hmm. I shelter her in a way that I'm here to teach you the tools to fly on your own. Right. Yeah. But baby girl, you're going to go out yeah. mm -hmm. and you're going to fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you go Right there in the cliff, but I'm not, I'm never going to let you fall. Yeah. I'm yeah. here to support you. Exactly. But she has to live and understand life mm -hmm. and, you know, book smart, street smart. Yeah. I was yeah. not street smart. I wasn't either. I, wasn't <laughs> I was either. not street smart. Yeah. I wasn't either. I'm, so speaking of yeah. your daughter, how has that been? Because I feel like I used to be a single mom. So I know what it's like to, and I, my daughter was first, um, kind of like, navigate all that you know what I mean like you're mm -hmm. you're having the mental your grit is on another level mm -hmm. than most but some single moms don't have that how do you get yourself there how do you tell yourself that like yes I'm doing everything by myself I'm literally like overwhelmed I'm burnt out but I have this mm -hmm. mental grit where does that come from well, it comes from life. And, mm -hmm. and I think Indy made me even better. I can't yeah. fail. Yeah. Ooh. I just can't. Yeah. Yeah, you fail, fine. that's it. Yeah. That's what your daughter is going to see. Oof. And the crazy thing is, I think, you know, we have to break cycles. My mm -hmm. mom was a force to be reckoned with. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be the woman that I am if I didn't see what my mom did. Yeah. My mom, oof, that lady is compassionate, mm -hmm. driven. Mm -hmm. Oof. Yeah. Like, she's oof. that girl. All the, she's I like that to girl. say that all the time. My <laughs> parents, honestly, yeah. mm, they're amazing. Yeah. Not, no, no, I'm getting emotional yeah. because I miss them, but yeah. they are amazing and they were perfectly imperfect. Yeah. There's things that I learned mm -hmm. even through the, the way that they raised me that I would never do that with Indy. And now mm -hmm. I see them like, where were you? Yeah. Yeah. Where was that when I was growing up? But they yeah. were too stressed surviving. Oh, yeah. That's uh, why grandparents are so why, good. Yeah. Yes. They get to be soft, like all the stuff that they had they to do. They wanted like, to do. They yeah. Exactly. So I think Indy made me even better. I think my decision to become a single mom, mm -hmm. I did it for many reasons, mm -hmm. but it was that. I can't mm -hmm. fail. Yeah. Now I'm here. Yeah. And my decision of becoming a single mom was pretty straight. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be happy. Yeah. yeah. And I believe I've never given my two cents about my past mm -hmm. because first and foremost, everyone can understand here. And I think, you know, humans are perfectly imperfect. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and when you are processing something that you've never processed before, yeah. you, you know, it's been four, almost like four and a half years. Mm -hmm. And... I'm still learning. Yeah. yeah. I'm still processing. And who am I to speak on something that um, in the moment I'm not going to be in a neutral space? Yeah. So yeah. now I see things different. Mm -hmm. Divorce sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not healthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you, there's some things that, and, and, some instances where it's amicable, yeah. and that's what I wanted, mm -hmm. but it wasn't. Yeah. And now I'm understanding that communication, emotional intelligence, if, yeah. if you're going to teach your kid something, 
and that's where I'm teaching Indy, it's mm -hmm. your ability to communicate discomfort, mm -hmm. your ability mm -hmm. to communicate and be okay when someone has a different opinion. It's okay oh, yes. to be yes. on two different pages. How do we come together yes. and we make it work? Mm -hmm. And that wasn't taught to yeah. me, you mm -hmm. know? Hey, say as I say and do, yes. do as I yeah. do. Yeah. And yep. that said, I'm teaching her about emotions, mm -hmm. how to channel her emotions. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you feeling right now? Yes. Yeah. Do, do you need a moment? Yes. Do you need to like voice it out and like, mm -hmm. okay, like, girl, go to your mm -hmm. room. It's okay yes. to cry. Yes. It's okay yes. to be yes. angry. Yes. yes. Because when we're angry, yeah. like yeah. it's okay to have all these feelings. Mm -hmm. What is not okay is for you to make decisions when you are feeling yes. either that. extremely sad mm -hmm. or extremely angry yes. and yeah. or extremely happy. Yes. Yep. Oh, that's yeah. a good one because we never add you, happy to that list. Mm -hmm. You have to make decisions when you're neutral. Yeah. I told my daughter the other day, I said, because she was pretty, you know, <laughs> and um, I said, your emotions and the things that you do in that moment is for a moment. Mm -hmm. But the action that you did when you had that emotion, it lasts. Yeah. It leaves mm -hmm. a residue. Yep. Residue, you can wipe all day long yep. and it's still there. Yep. And I was like, do you want this moment mm -hmm. to last? Like, what are you, you have to think this through. Yeah. Like, yeah. think it through. Cause she, you know, and, and but we do that. Yeah. And it's a lot of, it's funny because when I say these things to my daughter, I have the immediate like moment afterwards and I'm like, dang. What about me? What about me? Yeah. Like. I have moments where I'm emotional and I'll say things or I'll do things, whether it be with my husband or, you know, with a friend. And I'm like, hmm, yeah. that's going to leave a residue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I teach my daughter breath work. I'm like, just yes. breathe because you want to decide if you still want to feel like this. Because I'm yeah. like, I get sad and there are some moments to cry, but sometimes you just need to think. So mm -hmm. you can't think while you're upset or mm -hmm. while you're, I guess, even happy. I'm like, you're building up like your your heart is beating, like all of the things are happening. Adrenaline, you're not yep. able to, yeah, your, your adrenaline is going, so you can't think. So I try to get them to like breathe. I'm mm -hmm. like, let's just take a second and do that. And then we can decide how we want to feel. Yeah. And then we go from there. So that's what I'm teaching them. It's, you know, my kids are six and four, so it's not a thing. But I always tell myself, I want to be like the voice in the back of their head when they grow up. So you will. I'm like, maybe I'll take that. With <laughs> but them. it is a thing mm -hmm. because at a certain age, up until you're, I believe, 12, mm -hmm. it's industry versus inferiority. Mm -hmm. So you may think that your kids are not understanding, but everything that oh, you're yes. doing mm -hmm. right now, they're building their personalities, mm -hmm. they're building who they want to be. Mm -hmm. And I believe also in like coping mechanisms. Mm -hmm. People who can self regulate, that's my point. Without yeah. anything. Yes. We're not talking without alcohol. We do it all the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's where, you know, going back mm -hmm. to why people can stay healthy. First yeah. of all, we live in America. Yeah. This is a hamster wheel. Yes. You're going to try to like cope and yes. get the dopamine rush and the yep. serotonin and yep. whatever yep. in all the unhealthy ways. Now, can we teach you that exercise is a way for you to cope with mm -hmm. these negative emotions that's instead good. of you grabbing the alcohol, yes. instead of you maybe engaging in, I mean, Unsafe behavior. Unsafe yeah. behavior. Unsafe right? Behavior. <laughs> or the drugs or whatever it is, whether yeah. it's sex, whether it's anything. Mm -hmm. Can we teach, if we teach our children how to completely become neutral by themselves mm -hmm. yeah. with all these different healthy coping mechanisms, yeah. then that's how we break the generational curses oh, yeah. that have been imposed on us. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we have the Latino community yeah. that's always like hitting and whatever. Mm -hmm. Please. You can use your words. Yeah. yeah. There's no I've hurt enough, never, man. <laughs> I've never touched on my daughters. Mm -hmm. I've never laid a finger on my daughter. Mm -hmm. We talk because I respect her. She respects me. Yes. Yes. And we'll see where we're going to be because yes. they say like, oh, mothers, relationships and mothers and, mm -hmm. and daughters is really hard. But I feel like that's going to be my best friend. Oh, She's like my best friend right now. Yes. And we're going to go through it. And that's it. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I, I hope that I have more children. I think if you yeah. start an even playing field relationship, it will go. I know people talk about the teenage years, and it's not that it doesn't exist, but I believe what you say is what will become. So I try yeah. not to, like, I try to believe that this is going to be our relationship throughout. I'm I'm not going to start talking about, yeah, when she's a teenager, it's going to be hard. Yeah. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm convincing myself it's going to be amazing because we're starting that I'm the same. I talk to my children like they are adults, yep. especially my daughter. Yes. And I'm like, as long, like my daughter asked how our baby's made. And I told her, 
I told her yeah. a penis goes into a vagina. <laughs> yes, and that mom. is how a baby yeah. is made. And that's why you need to protect, especially at this age, until you're married, your vagina. Mm -hmm. Like, it's very simple. But I was afraid to ask my parents things. And so you, then you go to your friends. Yeah. I want them to know I'm never going to lie to them about anything. Yes. So they can talk to me. And of course, you know, different stages happen and they'll yeah. go to their friends, but they don't have to worry about like, oh, my mom. She not going to have Yeah, so yeah. I try to be very open with them because That's awesome. I just, I feel like I made a lot of mistakes because I didn't feel like I could talk to my parents. I didn't yeah. want to let them down. I also mm -hmm. tell my kids, you're going to make a whole bunch of mistakes. And yeah. that's fine. Just come to me after the first mistake. <laughs> because the second mistake is what like, usually Ugh. gets you in jail. Really? <laughs> Yeah. Something. It's a lasting, yes. elastic thing. So come to me after the first one. I got you, boo. You can't get in trouble yeah. for the truth. <laughs> and like, it's like we forget. Yeah. At some point, you were a teenager. Yeah. How hard Gosh. was that? Uh, uh, so can yep. we try to like understand our kids mm. yes. and, and like yes, level with them? Yes. And still, I feel like there's... Indy will respect, yeah. yes, you know, because mm -hmm. I respect her. Mm -hmm. And once you don't hide the truth, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, there's certain things that age, you have to like yeah. age appropriate. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But when you you have each other's backs, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. And they feel that. They feel that because I see how my daughter is with me, and I'm mm -hmm. just like, it's the best feeling. It is. It, is. it really is. Especially at this safe stage. Space. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned earlier that you went on a date. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh yeah. I heard you talk a little bit on you social said, about like <laughs> dating. Yeah, how's it as, been? As it's you, and you're like high profile. Yeah, people. It, so how do you even do that? It's crazy. You didn't think you'd be <laughs> dating again? It's like this it's, world. Oh no, I really want to find Ooh, the one. Yeah. Okay, I believe I in marriage. Yes, I have beautiful examples of what that looks like. I love that. And you know, once you realize like, okay, mm -hmm. well, this is what I did wrong, or mm -hmm. this is mm -hmm. maybe I didn't ask the right questions. I was impressionable. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I I think even in my past relationship, we made a beautiful human. Oh, there was yes. so many synergies. Gorgeous. And just because there's certain things that didn't work out and yeah. the timing wasn't right and we didn't mm -hmm. make the right effort, whether mm -hmm. No one to blame, yeah. right? Because I'm at that. I'm healed. Yeah. Yes. No, and now I can talk about it yes. in a way that is not angry, yeah. yes. right? Um, now I know how to ask the right questions. And the thing is, there's a lot of people who are not in tune with themselves, yeah, and they try to put this persona where you think they are. Like I am myself. Mm -hmm. I am really simple. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I have the ambition. I have a lot of masculine energy to provide <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. to to do all the things because I have to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I'm the sole provider for yeah. my daughter, mm -hmm. right? And in the state of California, you know, if you're successful or whatnot, and it is, I'm the sole provider. Yeah. Yes. I am not counting on anyone but yes. myself to provide for my daughter, mm -hmm. right? So until energy that makes me feel more feminine, mm -hmm. I am, I'm super feminine. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I believe it. When yes. I have, when that energy mm -hmm. matches me, yeah. Yeah. right? So, yeah, I, I believe in marriage. Mm -hmm. I believe, I would love, I'm capping myself at 38 years old. Okay. That's it. If at 38 years old, I cannot, mm -hmm. that's it. Mm -mm, I'm good. Okay. Or maybe that's what I'm saying now. Yeah. I thought you were talking about children, but you're well, talking children. about children. No, children. Okay, we're children. children. Oh, so they're no. Okay. So you think you're not married when, by 38. You know, at 38, Indy's just going to be, or who knows, but. Well, yeah. that's true. There'd be a, a difference. So you, yeah. I, I mean, in general, I think I love children. Have, would you ever do surrogate? I, I wouldn't be. No. Listen, being a single mom, I believe deep in my heart. Mm -hmm. Having a male figure and having a female okay. figure, it is what's healthy okay. mm. for growth. Yes. And mm -hmm. yes, like women, like I am, yeah, I'm powerful. Yeah. But and I can do this on my own. You yeah. do want to have, and whether it's an uncle, a brother, yes. Yes. that mm -hmm. has to be part of the child. You, saw you know? Uh, hired a nanny. Oh, a mammy. A mammy. A mammy. Sorry. Yeah, she a mammy. So that Kim she Kardashian could. Kim Kardashian hired a mammy because um, she wanted her children to have a male figure. There you go. Yeah, and that. like, it's, come on. Yeah. Like, it I would love mm -hmm. if I have a child with another person, I'm locked in. Yeah. Yeah. I am not neither becoming a, statist a statist statistic. Yes. I want to provide the family that I see in my head, mm -hmm. and I want mom and dad happy 
you know, figuring it out because yeah. everybody knows that marriage is not easy. It's oh, work. No. <laughs> there, you're going to go through good seasons, mm -hmm. yeah. hard seasons, and it's, are you there with your best friend? Yeah. Yeah. With your ride and die? Yeah. Yeah. With someone who yeah. loves and sees that marriage is commitment yes. to the good, the bad, the ugly, mm -hmm. but I want to be with my best friend. Yeah. Yeah. And that's who I want to meet. And it doesn't matter what they do mm -hmm. because together we make, we make it work. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We grow. We're nurturers. Mm -hmm. Females, when you are in your feminine power, it doesn't matter. Like I'm not looking for someone like money or status. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. looking for someone who is... Who is, it's like Imagine. yin and yang. Yeah. We will make it grow together. Oh, we will be that. this together. Yeah. And I'm, I don't believe in the whole thing like, oh, we make each other like whole. No, no. come whole. Two holes. Yes. Two holes. But you're, and you're coming into this from um, a men, like not just healed, but mentally strong place. Like, I'm sure whoever you were, because think about it, who you are in your 20s, mm -hmm. you're a whole different person. You're not the same mentally strong person you are now. So yeah. the person you attract is going to be different yeah. in your 20s yep. than you are in your 30s. Like, if yeah. I was to get... Like, it would just be totally different, different. who I'd end up with. Yeah. 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 And I, mm -hmm. I want, like, that puppy love. I want... Oh, I don't know. She's going to be on the phone all night. All yeah. night. I don't know. I don't know. She's like, no. Hours, non-negotiable. Oh, okay. Remember, ladies, boundaries. 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 Is that happening? Because, you know, that's I the first thing. When you yes. first start dating, you're, like, on the phone nonstop. Oh, yeah, that is true. And you fall asleep on the... I know. You gotta give so two cute. weeks for that. How, how about the boundaries? Two weeks. No, yeah, I mean, oh, it's, it's not that hard, but <laughs> yes. you know, I do yes. because I do see myself like talking all the time to this yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. I so, I will let you know. Yeah, y'all heard. Y'all heard. It will it happen. Will. So you better come correct because you see how she is. Right. Like you gotta come be on. ready for her. Yeah. Be, like, like, and when mm -hmm. we say like come correct, mm -hmm. it's like <clears throat> just come with an open heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come being yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to pretend. Like, what are we trying to do here? Trying to see if we just can become like this, yeah. okay? Yeah. So, like, come as as you come are. Come as you are. Come so as you are. Vulnerable. Just like at the church. Like, I don't know at all. Yeah. There's a lot of areas you, in my life. Might, I know you don't want to be a guru or anything, but you know a whole you lot. Know, I'm yeah. going yeah. to give you a whole lot. <laughs> we won't say it all, but you know. But I want that, you know, I want that energy. Yeah. You know, I don't want to be in, like, this masculine Yes, I know that I can do. It's proven. Yes, yes I can. Yes. But I don't. It's hard. You don't want to. I don't want to, don't want to yes. all the time. Like I, it's it's life. It's better mm -hmm. and it's easier mm -hmm. with two people. Yeah. Yes. No, we say all the time like the whole like super mom or super woman thing. Like great, but if you're calling me super mom or super woman, that means I need help. Like yes. I don't want to. I can yes. be, but I don't want to have to. I don't be. want to have to be. Like, I'll put on the cake when I need yeah. to. I don't want to wear it all the time. Yeah. yeah. And I believe in traditional roles. Yeah. Oh, okay. Even though in my family, uh, mm -hmm. mom and dad, mm -hmm. whatever, like I never saw gender roles. Mm -hmm. Okay. If it needed, if that needed to be picked up, whether it was mom and dad, they used to check each other. Where are you at? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're at a 10? Okay. Uh -huh. I got you. Yeah. yeah. You know, and yeah, even yeah, yeah. now, like yeah. while my mom is cooking, my dad is doing the dishes. Yeah. yeah. And like, they're so it's cute. Yes. They're ridiculous. How long have they been married? 34 years. Oh, yeah. So 34 years, going on 35. And they've married twice. Yeah. I oh, wow. can with them. Oh, they married each other twice? <laughs> twice. Wait, divorced and married again? Or no, just no, 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 no. Oh, they they just had like, a got married. Yes. And okay. that a renewal. You okay. know, yes. they, they're just the cutest thing. Oh. Yeah. The cutest thing. Like, they, you know, they came to visit the other day. I'm like, where are they? And they're like literally in the backyard together, like literally belly, you know, looking oh. at each other. It's they're ridiculous. So, like, wow. It is. They are in love. I love that. And they that. have gone through thick and thin. Yeah. And so, the way they look at each other, that's I true. want that. Yes. So you talk about the next, when you get married again, you guys are going to work <gasps> it out no matter what. But, and you kind of, you touched on this a little bit before, but what were the signs that, like, this one had to, because you sound like when I get married, it's commitment. So, like, did. what made you realize, like, I know I feel that way, but I can't commit to this? We were on two different pages. Mm -hmm. I two can speak books. on the, you know, yeah, on side, yeah. the other person, but what I value it's very different. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I'm not held by the material. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I believe that I was, like, people need to understand, like, I love and breed, and breathe this. Mm -hmm. I, I'm successful because every single day that I wake up, I'm doing something that I love. 
Okay. I'm a people person. Okay. Right? So I think, you know, when two people are just not on the same page and okay. it doesn't matter, like if you're reaching a relationship or you're seeing your relationship on who's right or who's wrong, it's never going to okay. work. Yeah. Uh, oh, 100%. It has never worked. It's mm -hmm. not about being right or wrong. It's yeah. about what can, okay. Because we're on the same team, first of all. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If yes. I am winning, you're winning. Yeah. If yes. you're winning, I'm How you winning. you fight your uh, teammate? Yes, okay. You can't. <laughs> And like I said, mm -hmm. you have to see, like, once I had Indy, and this is biological. Okay. In your biology, as a female, we have to carry. Mm -hmm. We, like, a male can just impregnate you and just move on to the next. Yeah. But <laughs> biologically um, speaking, we have a lot to lose. Yes. So yeah. we are protecting that offspring, yes. right? Yes. That, uh, as much as we, as we can, yeah. right? <clears throat> so I looked at her and I said, is this the life that I want to live? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Mm. And, you know, mm. I say it all the time when things are sped up and when you are trying to meet a partner, you have to have a lot of things like link up mm -hmm. from your religion mm -hmm. to how you want to spend money, mm -hmm. how do you want to manage money, what's important to you, mm -hmm. how you want to parent, um, education, Politics, like all these things matter, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Because, you know, they have to align. Right. And or if they don't align, then you have to, you know, at some point you have to have someone who's like, oh, okay. Like that person's not going to be perfect. Right. Yes. What are you, are, is your ego big enough mm -hmm. or, or, or not big enough? Is your ego, hmm. How do Flex I flexible? Yeah, flexible, flexible. enough yeah. to say like, you know what? It's okay. You know what? Mm -hmm. Like I really like don't like when you do that, breaker. but right. like, okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 I can just brush that off. Exactly. And I just knew. We just your intuition. Mm -hmm. If you continue to feel like yeah. things are mm, like not aligning mm -hmm. and you're just going to have this all the time when you're giving. Yeah. Then it's it's just not you know especially like when you have if your the sky is blue the sky is blue right. exactly yeah. so and it's not you know of course we can we can say like that was a bad person mm -hmm. or this is because it's not aligning with you but yeah. I knew what I didn't want and that's it mm -hmm. yeah I'm looking at it in every single year it's mm -hmm. different yeah. because yeah. as you evolve oh yeah and you get it's out of it's different yes. like that is the father of my child yes. yeah. and it doesn't matter this is crazy mm -hmm. but this is how you know if you're a good christian or not <laughs> <laughs> you got to huh? find out. come on you just can, you see them differently yes. you are able to turn the other cheek and just yes. put yep. your child first yes. 100%. that no matter what they're going to reach that point whenever yep. they reach that point yep. yes i was really hot headed yeah. yes you, okay, I can give and give and give, but if you reach that point, yes. I will freak, well, I used to. Mm -hmm. I would explode. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's it. And then well, you you're just like... you held a lot back, so if exactly. you hold back, it's going to... Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So now it's like, why am I just going to hold back, hold back, hold back until I explode? No. Mm -hmm. So it's now, it's like, created something beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I had a lot of things to process, mm -hmm. right? to the point where I think that there's a lot of things that were unfair. Mm -hmm. And now it's just like, I am just so hyper-focused yeah. on my yeah. happiness, so yeah. hyper-focused on Indy, so hyper-focused on, you know, how can I even expand my business, mm -hmm. but expand it from a good, you know, I, at some point I thought that I was not deserving of this. Oh. You know how hard I've worked? Woo. I can't even, like the, the moss yeah. is here, but I can't even imagine you ever that. I wasn't that. deserving. Yeah. You know? Mm. And, when did you get over that? Um, not too long ago. Wow. wow. Because it's hard mm -hmm. to see people suffering and you doing well. Okay. Uh, I get that, that is just the hardest thing. Yeesh. Yeah. And I had to go to therapy for that. Wow. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, okay, I don't feel bad about providing the business that I provide. Mm -hmm. It's instead of giving the fish, let me teach you how to fish. Yeah. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So, and I felt bad. Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of suffering in the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, for you to be doing well when you hear, like, people are just doing this yeah. and that and the third, like, yeah. that's... Um, yeah. It's rough. It's, I can imagine. But you give, like, yes, you're getting, but you're giving. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And, like, when you have a company, that's the, that's, that's the coolest thing. Mm -hmm. To get to a point where you can give back. Yes. yes. Like, oh... Like, there is no better feeling, yeah. yeah. you know, that you can like give that. back. That is everything. Well, Masi, 
I have one last question. <laughs> oh. One last thing. What do you think moms actually need to hear right now? Even though, if y'all don't, if y'all didn't hear nothing this whole episode, I don't know what y'all you, might need to put the you dishes heard down, some things. put the laundry <laughs> down, all of that. But seriously, if the last thing you could leave them with, what do you think they need to hear? Okay. So this is where it's like tough love. Yes. Right? Can't wait. Um, don't be in denial. Mm. Right? That is the worst place where you can be, don't play the victim, right? And by saying that, it's you know the parts that you play and the situations that you're in. So I cannot say, you know, we we're talking about this, like, you're doing a great job. I don't know who I'm speaking to. She said to. you might not be. Man! You know, if you are not in denial, sometimes we are the common denominator, Jeez. Right? Oh, we're the common so, denominator in all our relationships. Right? So don't be in denial. You're not a damsel in distress. Yeah. You can't play this victim mentality. Yeah. You are resilient. You are going to thrive. Oh. And maybe you are not comfortable being un uncomfortable. Yes. But once you get comfortable being uncomfortable, there's a lot of things that are going to unlock. So be strategic. Mm -hmm. Set yourself a plan. Don't start thinking about like, oh my God, this is so big and how am I even going to start? Break it down. Mm -hmm. Break it down because time does not wait for anyone. Yeah. And if you get stuck, a year, five years, 10 years is going to pass by and you're going to think about who you were and what you used to be. Yes. You are resilient. You will evolve. You will break through, but it's going to take you not being in denial and for you to take action, for you to make that happen. Come on. You're, you're a powerful being. Get in your power. Trust your intuition. Let's get it. You what's got the, this. What's the beginner program called again? M A L V. She thinks I'm joking. No. <laughs> She's no. going to see Blair jumpy. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, no. But think about this. When you feel good, yes. when you look good, yes. uh, you have to be vain with yourself. Yep. Because it's either you're going to be wishing something like, oh my God, I wish I look. You can. Yes. You can look like that. You can be that person. You can do those things. But it's, you have to get regimented. You know, oh, yeah. get regimented, but it's going to be a process. It's going yes. to be pretty. It's going to be ugly. It's yeah. going to be all the things that you can think of, but you're going to get it done. Yes. You will do this. Trust me. Y'all, yeah. <laughs> I literally don't have anything else to say. Blair? That's it. Thank you so Thank you. No, thank you, much. guys. You thank changed you. my life today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean... Like, thank you. Got rid yeah, of all my thank excuses. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so much. I know my excuses are excuses yeah. now. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah. thank we really appreciate you. Really I'm going to say thank you on behalf of our audience yes. because I know that there are women right now, they're probably in tears, yeah. to be totally honest. I mean, if I was in a certain place, I'm sure like me two years ago, me a year ago, I would be in tears right now. Mm -hmm. Truly. I'm yeah. going to grab this paddle. You can leave that relationship if oh. it's abusive. Yeah. Okay? You can step out and you will do something with your life. You don't have to get stuck in there. Because at one point, and I left everything. Didn't even look back. And I said, I will rebuild myself. And I will learn and I will grow and I will get it done. And I will never look back. And the things that I've learned in this journey, oof, I've become better in every single way. And I'm not saying, mm -hmm. right, that you're not, you're always going to be like, oh, so hard, but mm -hmm. you don't have to be in that relationship if you don't need to. Mm -hmm. You can leave, you can rebuild yourself. You do think about it. Vulnerability takes courage and takes strength. Jesus. You have people around you that can help you. Ooh. Being vulnerable, it's, a, it's one of the best things that you can do. Because you do have help. Mm -hmm. You do have a community. You yes. do have sisterhood. Yes. Be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. You got this. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 
Wow. <laughs> this is like when you save to watch week, like yeah. once a week. Look, you got yeah. it. She said, I'm, like, said, I'm going to get, you said Ooh. almost get those tears. She said, I'm going to get them from you, girl. Yeah, yeah. No, that, no, this is yeah. Me. This was great. Thank you so much. This thank was you. beyond my, yes. way beyond. Awesome, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Hey, Ma. What's up? Hey, Ma. What's up? Hey, Ma. What's up? Hey, Ma. What's up? Hey, Ma. Hey, Ma, what's up? Hey, Ma, what's up?